Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Great article here from Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So one of AT&T's biggest priority moving through the rest of this decade, as I've said in plenty of videos, it's not 5G in the wireless network. It's fiber. I've made that very clear on several occasions and, and AT&T is investing their capital allocation such. They invest more into fiber today than they do the wireless network. I know that's not shown anywhere publicly. You guys will just have to take my word for it. Their 21, 22 billion, the way that it's broken up as it comes to capital allocation, they are investing more into fiber. And now AT&T is going to take a balanced approach. They're going to deploy some of their own fiber where they literally own the fiber top to bottom. They own the spool. They own everything. And they're also now going to approach the open access model. They like that model as well. The problem with AT&T is they want to be the only competitor in, in an area where they get to with fiber. If it's owned, if it's open access, they want to be the only player in those markets. Well, Google Fiber has just made that much harder in Lawrence, Kansas. So Google Fiber to tangle with AT&T and Mitco in Kansas. So Mitco is probably a JV, probably a smaller player that AT&T didn't see much of, as a, of a threat, right? They, they probably couldn't invest heavy amounts of capital to get to high penetration within the city but google fiber is a whole different ball game if google fiber strikes the deal they have the funding and capital necessary to really put a dent as it comes to competition and that's how at&t wants it right they want to be the only one competing on fiber for an example el paso texas that's my market at&t today is the only consumer fiber competitor the other one is is, is a spectrum and that's coax that's cable i think they are doing some fiber uh to a very limited capacity but at&t as it comes to consumer the the market penetration they are the biggest and only fiber player to the home so let's let's read here a bit so google fiber will be locking horns with at&t and midco in lawrence kansas next year after the city passed an ordinance clearing the operator to build fiber there so Google Fiber, as it's now branded, or G Fiber, has started the design and engineering process and expects to start construction next year. Rachel Merlo, head of government and communications affairs for G Fiber Central Reason. And then Google Fiber did not elaborate on the extent of its planned build out there. Lawrence, uh, Lawrence, home to the University of Kansas, has a population of more than 94,000 residents and over 41,000 households. So uh, not a lot. To really cover if if a good amount is invested they could get to a decent amount of homes passed in in, in a short period of time if they invest uh, a big amount of capital so this is going to get interesting right at t is going to have to step it up if, if google fiber comes in they got midco there's at t that's already two other players that at t will have to worry about and then at t also has to worry about fwa now as well with Verizon and T-Mobile. So the uh, the home broadband market, although it's not direct competition with fiber, it's getting more saturated. So it's going to be a lot tougher to to really move forward and compete. Now, Google Fiber has a has an excellent product. Fiber is fiber, right? Midco, they probably have a decent product too where they have it deployed or a good product where they, where they have it deployed. And AT&T as well. So AT&T has to step it up. Like I said, the priority is shifting. AT&T is moving into fiber in a bigger way. That's no secret anymore. The fact that they're doing their own fiber and they're also doing the open access. I mean, look at how much money they have to invest into the BlackRock deal to get that to some type of scale. We will hear later this year, they, they stated at the recent earnings call, that they will give us an update and, and, and inform us how they're doing in that segment. I would say... They, they're, they're performing well by the, by the commentary. They didn't give any numbers, but they said, I look forward to sharing everything. So that must mean that they're going to do quite well. 
So it's going to be interesting to keep track of this, right? I know a lot of you wish that AT&T was more aggressive on wireless. And, and at some point in time, they might, right? They might get more aggressive on, on wireless. They're investing a good amount right now for around one third of the network, converting Nokia to Ericsson. And that's going to have a impact on the consumer that's going to it's going to bring forth a better performing network but the densification process and everything that's required like if they get 4.9 later this year right or in in the next few months as the S, as the FCC stated today they're going to have to densify right if the if the C band and the DoD in in markets that are not as dense if that's a roller coaster i mean just think about what kind of roller coaster 4.9 is going to be that's an even higher frequency than C-band and DOD. So you got to tighten that grid. They're, they're going to have to tighten the macro grid. They're going to have to densify with C-RAN, plenty of C-RAN, and they're going to have to do macros as well. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.